Well, it's time for the popcorn and those dazzling red carpet looks. Hollywood's biggest event of the year is back. It is Oscars night. Here to get you ready for the big event, including a special place to watch the show, is film critic and executive producer of Movie Show Plus, Tom Santilli. Tom, good morning. Hey, Jen. Great to be here. Happy Oscar Sunday. And happy Oscar Sunday to you as well. So where are you planning to watch the awards, and do you have any recommendations on how and where can people can watch and take part? Yeah, uh, for those that have been seeing me on on you know the airwaves here the last uh, few days and couple weeks, uh, they know that I'm going to be hosting what is really one of the coolest Oscar events in the entire state of Michigan. It's called the Oscar Gala. It's at the Maple Theater. I'm co-hosting the event. It starts uh, tonight, of course. Uh, the Oscars start at eight o'clock on this very network. Uh, the red carpet show, though, if you if you like watching the red carpet, you can come out to the Maple Theater early because the event starts at seven o'clock. Uh, there's a live band, the Gene and Tonics. They're a great jazz band, local jazz band. Uh, there's a snack reception. There's a photo booth. Uh, we're doing raffles throughout the whole night. So, like with your ticket, you get entered into like 30 free raffles. Uh, and we do those during the commercial breaks all night long. There's a silent auction, and it's just a lot of fun. It, it's a great way if you're a movie lover to watch. You don't have to dress up or you could rent a tux you know so there's no dress code or anything like that uh show up have fun watch the oscars with a bunch of other like-minded people that are excited about the show and i saw that tickets are 30 dollars, and are those still available yeah they are still available right now you could buy them at the maplefeeder.com uh, or at the maple theater box office but yeah get your tickets in advance because you like you like most people know with movie theaters these days you're picking your specific seats you know so if you want a good seat uh get your tickets now and especially for Oscars night, having a good seat, that is key. And, and so yes. for this year, in terms of hosting, it's going to be a little different. Three hosts this year, and hosts are yeah. back this year. What do you expect from this trio of women hosting tonight? Well, it's super exciting. You know, uh, Amy Schumer, Wanda Sykes, and Regina Hall are all funny in their own kind of way. So I think that they're all three going to kind of bring something a little bit different. We don't know exactly how they're going to be hosting, if they're going to all take turns or if it's going to be the three of them together throughout the night. It's a little odd of a choice if you consider, you know, all three of these uh, th these choices are not necessarily skewing to a younger audience, which seems right. to be the big push uh, of the Oscars this year. They have added the fan favorite category. People are expecting, you know, Spider-Man to, to win that. Uh, and there's moments like that. They have actually, the Oscars have hired a bunch of uh, social media influencers and TikTok experts to be a part of the show and, and handle their social during the episode. So. A little weird that they didn't go a little younger with the picks, but I'm excited because I, I do like all three of them individually, and I think that they're going to be good hosts. That's kind of what everyone said about the Super Bowl halftime show, right? Like, it was not for the younger people. It was kind of for an older <laughs> crowd. So depending and, on and where... And it was one of the best, right? Right. right. I so, thought so, you know, yeah. depending on where you, where you fall on that. And so I'm sure you get asked this all the time, Tom, but let's talk yes. predictions. You're, you're the guy to go to for this. So what, what are you thinking about tonight? Yes. So the big two awards are are that are kind of the up in the air ones are actually best picture and best actress, which makes it exciting going into Oscar night. Really, nobody knows what's going to win best picture. There are 10 nominees, of course, but the real front runner has been the power of the dog. Everybody expected that one to win. But then Coda, this little movie that could that's on Apple TV plus it won at the Screen Actors Guild and also the Producers Guild. And so it has all this momentum where people think Coda might be actually <laughs> Be able to uh, beat Power of the Dog. So those two are kind of like neck and neck. It'll be interesting. I'm going to pick Coda, though. If people want to, you know, yell at me on Monday, that's cool. But I'm going to stick with Coda uh, as the winner there. Best actress, Jessica Chastain. I was hoping you were going to say that. Yes. The Eyes of Tammy Faye. She's yeah. fabulous in this movie under tons of makeup, but she, she's great. I still think Kristen Stewart has an outside chance for Spencer, although Chastain is definitely the favorite at this point. And then it gets a little easier from there. Best actor, uh, Will Smith is the front runner for King Richard. Uh, he's long overdue for an Oscar, and uh, he's been sweeping everything. So he's expected to win. Supporting categories, you'll have Troy Kotzer from CODA, uh, who's a deaf actor and was fabulous in CODA. And then also Ariana DeBose is expected to win Best Supporting Actress for West Side Story. That's the big one. Uh, Getting into the, some of the technical categories, I'll just go right along, is if you're in doubt filling out your Oscar ballot, just put down Dune. <laughs> um, although Dune will not probably win Best Picture, uh, it, it might come away as the most Oscars uh, won tonight because it's going to probably win a lot of the technical categories. The soundtrack so doubt, alone. Oh, yeah, the yeah. soundtrack. 
the visuals, the you know everything about it, just a stunning uh, technical achievement. Well, I am so excited for tonight. It's going to be a powerhouse night. So many great films this year, so many yes. big names. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm sure you are. You're going to be co-hosting that gala. So, Tom Santelli, it's going to be a great night. Thanks so much for joining us this morning to give us a preview. It's great, and I'll be back tomorrow morning, too, with my reaction on 20. So, that's everybody right. tune into that's that. That's right. You're going to be wrapping up uh, the night's big events for us tomorrow morning. So, we'll <laughs> check back in with you tomorrow morning. Thanks, Jen.